Hello, my name is Matt Max, and welcome back to this chapter about digital sound recording. Today, I want to talk about two really important things: sampling rate and bit depth. So let's get right to it. In the end, when you're recording audio with your computer, what is actually happening is that your computer is saving a big number. Every audio file, every every file really on your computer is just a long, 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 long number. Okay. And the way your computer does save audio files is that every so often he takes a data point, a so-called sample, and he assigns a number to this data point and the number is volume. Right? This looks something like this. Okay, this is time, and all those axes are samples. Okay, all those axes are samples. So you see that the all the samples are the same distance away from each other, or actually, let's assume that they are. The distance those samples are away from each other is dictated by the sample rate. The higher the sample rate, the closer the points will be. Okay? A sample rate of 44 kilohertz means that 44,000 times a second, the computer will take a sample. So it will take 44,000 samples a second. A sampling rate of 48 kilohertz means that your computer does 48,000 samples per second. It's that simple, that's sample rate. Now, bit depth, on the other hand, tells your computer how many different values of volume it can actually save. Right here, you see that all the axes are on those red lines. All right? And how many of those red lines you have is dictated by your bit depth. The more the higher your bit depth, the more red lines you have and the closer they are together. You can see right here that this curve is suddenly going horizontally. That's usually not what a curve does, right? So this X actually should be a little bit higher, it should be about here, but it cannot. Because there is no red line here. And you can only put a data point on one of those red lines. Because in the end, you just have so many different values you can assign to a data point. If you have a bit depth of 16 bit, that means you have 65,536 of those red lines. And if, you know, if the point should be here, but there is no value available, then it will just be set to the, to the next one, right? So a higher bit depth means you have more red lines, means you have a finer finer recording and more accuracy in recording. If you have a bit depth of 24 bit, you suddenly have 16 million of those red lines instead of just 65,000. Bit rate finally is sampling rate times bit depth. Look at this table. You can see that high bit depth means a lot bigger files. So which bit depth and sampling rate should you actually choose? There is a theorem called the Nyquist-Shannon-Whittaker-Kotelnikov sampling theorem sorry for butchering those names, by the way, that says that if your file has a sampling rate of n, the actual frequency of data in that file will be half of n. So, if you're recording with 44 kilohertz, the maximum reproducible frequency on the other end will be 22 kilohertz. If you record with 48 kilohertz, the maximum usable frequency on the other end will be 24 kilohertz. That's very fundamental theorem of information theory. 
Now, what this means is that you should choose a sampling rate that is high enough that you can actually reproduce all the frequencies that a human can hear. A human can hear frequencies between 20 and 20,000 hertz. So right there, you can see that 44 kilohertz should be enough to reproduce all the frequencies that a human can actually hear. Right? Now, you will find everywhere you go, you will find very strong opinions on this. Okay? Some people will say, I can totally hear the difference between 44 and 96 kilohertz. And some people will say it's all bullshit. Now, we are not talking about sound recording here. We're talking about video making. And for video making, other things are more important. For video making, what you will end up with is that you have a lot of different sources, okay? You have video from your camcorder, you have audio from your mic, you have, maybe have game footage, or you, you use something else, you use a piece of music, right? And all of those files, in the worst case scenario, have different sampling rate, different frame rate, and so on. If that is the case, if you do not pay attention to the properties that your files actually have, and if they all have different sampling rates and different frame rates, then you will get problems. You will get all kind of weird problems. You will get problems with desyncing and so on and so forth. So you should always try to have all your files on the same sampling rate, on the same frame rate, right? That's what you should strive for. And that's the really important thing about sampling rate when you want to make videos. Personally, I don't believe that you can actually hear the difference between 44 and 48 kilohertz, but my camcorder records 48 kilohertz. Now, I'm, I'm actually not using the audio from my camcorder, I'm just using the audio to sync it to this audio. But if I record this at 44 kilohertz, I get all kinds of weird problems with desyncing and so on. So I have to record on 48 kilohertz and, you know, I don't care. I have a multiple one terabyte drives that doesn't make any difference for me if my file is slightly bigger. But you have to, you have to look at the files and at the file sources you have and you have to to see what kind of sampling rates they actually produce. And then you have to decide. You should, however, not go lower than 44 kilohertz. The short version is, if your hardware and your software can handle a higher bit depth, go for it. There is not really a reason not to. There isn't really a reason not to. You get a higher accuracy, your Signal will be farther away from the noise floor. The maximum distance between your quietest and your loudest signal will be higher. And it can overall sound better. It can sound better. Now, just upping the bit depth from 16 to 32 hertz bit will not make your sound better. Okay, it will not make your sound better. Mic placement, room acoustics, all of that is way more important. It's way, way, way more important than bit depth. But it can help you out. It won't necessarily, but it can. So why not do it? My name is with Mad Max. Thanks for watching this episode. And tune in next time.